Hey there, Bulldog Nation. This is Haley Tucker, and I'm sitting down with head baseball coach Zach Saunders. Coach, can you just talk about your team for a second and what they've accomplished this season? Yeah, sure can. Um, you know, it seems like half of our group has come back from a year ago with a lot of success that we had. Um, and then try to mesh in a new group, a lot of junior college guys, mm -hmm. um, and have had some guys really have some success, and it seems like it's just been one of those years right now where still trying to figure out an identity and, and still trying to figure out who we are and kind of, you know, let the, the closer games kind of sway our way where, you know, I guess in the, the recent recent past they just haven't. You know, we, we've played some really close games and mm -hmm. haven't had some stuff go our way, but, uh, you know, second half of the season, and we're hoping for some big things from them. Well, good. And uh, Brendan Pietzmeyer was the GAC Pitcher of the Week. Talk about his performance against Southeastern. It was one we really needed, honestly. Um, you know, just kind of being up and down and, and having some series that we won. You know, we just come off a series uh, at East Central and Harding where we won both of those and, and needed another one out of him and got to Southeastern and, and probably pitched as well as he has all year. Mm -hmm. um, Threw a ton of strikes, you know, kind of kept them off balance and, and had a lot of success there, even with the wind kind of blowing out to right field. And, and we were a little nervous about that, just because how small it is there. Um, but, man, he, he was really, really good for us. And, you know, unfortunately, we lost those other two games due to weather. But, uh, you know, he really stepped up for us and, and gave, gave us some momentum that weekend. Mm -hmm. All right. And then looking ahead, what do you expect from your team for the rest of the season? We're... Uh, we're looking for some fight, to be perfectly honest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked about it this morning. We were up extremely early this morning talking about it as a group, um, just what we're going to need to do to have success down the stretch. And, and we're going to need some people to step up. And it uh, seems like, you know, runs have been, you know, few and far between right now. But, uh, you know, it's just going to take that one guy deciding, you know, he's going to be the guy for us and, and stepping up and driving in some runs. And uh, I think more than anything is everyone rallied around each other. Um, you know, as you get into these things and some things don't go your way, teams can easily kind of just, you know, take off and, and be individuals. But we talked about it this morning, just really trying to come together as a group, pull for everybody, whether it's defensive or offensive or pitchers or whatever mm -hmm. it may be, and, and uh, really just try to get going the same direction. Mm -hmm. And then I might embarrass you a little bit here, but you're the reigning GAC player or the GAC coach of the year. Yep. So how does that feel? It's, it's always a tremendous honor. I think more than anything, you know, more than the award is, you know, it's voted on by coaches. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's a lot of guys that are that are in the uh, in the conference that I high and, you know, hold in high regard and, and think a lot of and, and think do an extremely good job. And so for them to vote me as, as you know, uh, the coach of the year last mm -hmm. year was, you know, it's just a humbling deal because, you know, as a coach, it's really not – you know, I told the guys when I wanted it was, you know, that's not mine. It's, mm -hmm. you know, that's the teams and, and, you know, a lot of times coaches get too much credit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I think last year was definitely one of those things. I think the group really took off on their own and uh, we just kind of stood out of the way and let them take off. Mm -hmm. Well, you definitely deserve the credit Thank because you. you did a great job last year Appreciate it. and this year as well. <laughs> but talk about the matchup against Monticello this week. How are you going into this game? What are you guys going to do? Man, it's... Uh, John Harvey's their 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 head uh, baseball coach there, and has been there as long as I've been here at this point, and you know is now the the interim AD all over there as well. And so he does a great job. Um, his teams are always very very scrappy. It's mm -hmm. it's kind of like looking in a mirror sometimes, just because of the style they play. They're kind of gritty and hard nosed, and uh, kind of take it to the edge a lot of times, which you know in the past and even this year our groups have been. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's really just trying to match that. Uh, we talk a lot about taking care of the baseball this weekend and, and really trying to be a clean defensively. But I think it's going to take, you know, somebody driving in runs. You know, we're going to get guys on. We've done a really good job of that all year. Mm -hmm. um, but it's somebody stepping up and, and really trying to be the RBI guy for us and driving a bunch of runs. And if we can have that and, and have multiple guys do it, we're going to be really successful this weekend. Well, that's all the questions that I have for today. Thank you, Coach Saunders, for sitting down with us. And I'm Haley Tucker with Swasta Athletics. And get out to the athletic complex this weekend and support your Bulldogs.